India is the diabetes capital of the world, which can be a big reason why diabetes is one of the top search keywords on the internet. More than 50 million people suffer from type 2 diabetes in India, and this is the reason I have set out to talk about diabetes in this video. Hello and welcome back to yet another fascinating video about diabetes, its causal factors and prevention tips. Diabetes is a condition in which the body does not properly process food for use as energy. Most of the food we eat is turned into glucose or sugar for our bodies to use for energy. The pancreas is an organ that lies near the stomach, releases a hormone called insulin to help glucose get into the cells of our bodies. When you have diabetes, your body either doesn't make enough insulin or can't use its own insulin as well as it should. This causes sugars to build up in your blood. A person with diabetes has a condition in which the quantity of glucose in the blood is too elevated, called hypoglycemia. This excess blood glucose eventually passes out of the body in urine. So even though the blood has plenty of glucose, the cells are not getting it for their essential energy and growth requirements. This is why many people refer to diabetes simply as sugar. It is important to discuss diabetes as it can cause serious health complications including cardiovascular disease like stroke and heart attacks, blindness, kidney failure and lower extremity amputations. What are the possible causes of diabetes? Autoimmune, genetic, environmental, certain medications, infections and incorrect lifestyle practices are some of the important factors. Autoimmune where the body wrongly recognizes substances naturally present in the body and targets antibodies against it, genetic running in families across continuous or skip generations, environmental factors like vitamin D deficiency and lack of physical activity, certain medications may be associated with impaired glucose tolerance and early onset of diabetes, infections especially of the pancreas like mumps, rotavirus and the cytomegalovirus, incorrect lifestyle practices as you all know I cannot stress enough about this fact. Other well-known causes are inadequate fiber in the diet, consumption of fatty and processed foods, and foods with high glycemic index are all positively linked with the onset of diabetes. What are the symptoms of diabetes? People who think they might have diabetes must visit a physician for diagnosis. They might have some or even none of the following symptoms, like frequent urination, excessive thirst, unexplained weight loss, extreme hunger, sudden vision changes, tingling or numbness in the hands or feet, feeling very tired most of the time, very dry skin, sores that are slow to heal, frequent skin or urinary infections are some of the common symptoms. What are the types of diabetes? Although there are several forms of diabetes, let us focus on the most common ones, which you need to know, which is type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes and gestational diabetes. Type 1 diabetes previously called insulin dependent diabetes, which affects older teens and adults predominantly between 15 to 25 years of age accounts for 5 to 10 percent of all diagnosed cases of diabetes. It is characterized by a lack of insulin production from the pancreas. Without daily administration of insulin, type 1 diabetes can be even serious or fatal. Risk factors like autoimmune, genetic and environmental factors play a role in this form of diabetes. Children become insulin dependent at a very young age and have a propensity of developing complications at around fourth of decades of life. Type 2 diabetes was previously called non-insulin dependent diabetes mellitus or the adult onset diabetes. It accounts for almost 90 to 95% of all forms of diabetes. It occurs due to body's inadequate response to available insulin which we term insulin resistance. Risk factors for type 2 diabetes include old age, obesity, family history of diabetes, prior history of gestational diabetes, impaired glucose tolerance, physical inactivity and race or even ethnicity. Coming to gestational diabetes or which we commonly call pregnancy induced diabetes is seen in 2 to 5% of all pregnancies around the second trimester but usually disappears when a pregnancy is over. Gestational diabetes occurs more frequently in women with a family history of diabetes than in other groups. Women who have gestational diabetes are at increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes after about 10 years of life. Treatment usually includes dietary modification with or without insulin. So what is the solution? Well, it includes two factors, which is prevention and control. Prevention. Without urgent action, diabetes-related deaths will increase by more than 50% in the next 10 years. To help prevent diabetes and its complications, you must achieve and maintain healthy body weight with realistic weight loss goals, be physically active with at least 30 minutes of regular moderate intensity activity on at least 5 days a week. Early diagnosis can be accomplished through relatively inexpensive blood testing 
at least twice a year after the age of 40. Treatment of diabetes involves loading blood sugar and the levels of other known risk factors that damage the blood vessels. Tobacco cessation are also important to avoid complications. Coming to the control of diabetes, people with type 1 diabetes will require insulin. People with type 2 diabetes can be treated with oral medication but may also require insulin. Self-testing at home with a glucometer, blood pressure control, daily inspection of foot for any decreased sensation, burning feet or any ulcer is important to diagnose nerve involvement. Other cost-saving interventions include screening and treatment for retinopathy which is an important cause of blindness, blood lipid control to regulate cholesterol levels, screening for early signs of diabetes related kidney disease. These measures should be supported by a healthy diet, regular physical activity, maintaining a normal body weight and avoiding tobacco. All said and explained, remember, all types of diabetes are treatable. Diabetes lasts a lifetime. However, some people have managed to get rid of their symptoms without medication through a combination of yoga, exercise, diet and body weight control. Lastly, let me list out some of the possible complications in poorly controlled diabetic patients. Eye complications like glaucoma, cataracts, diabetic retinopathy, foot complications like neuropathy, ulcers and sometimes gangrene of the foot which may require amputation, skin complications which are frequent non-healing skin infections, heart problems such as ischemic heart disease or a heart attack, hypertension which is again common in people with diabetes which can increase the risk of kidney disease which is nephropathy, mental health, uncontrolled diabetes raises the risk of suffering from depression and anxiety, hearing loss, Neuropathy, which is diabetic peripheral neuropathy, which can lead to ulceration of the toes and foot. Recurrent burns due to reduced sensation. Peripheral arterial disease, stroke, if the blood pressure or cholesterol levels are really high. Male impotence due to uh, erectile dysfunction or reduced sperm viability. Infections. People with badly controlled diabetes are much more susceptible to infections in general. So after having covered most of this exhaustive topic, I hope you have understood about the importance of diabetes and its early detection. If you are worried that you or your family member may have the above symptoms, you are recommended to talk to your doctor for a workup and initiation of early treatment if diagnosed with diabetes. If you found the video helpful, share and subscribe to my channel to continue receiving more health and lifestyle videos. Thank you.